Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Awesome movie. I actually watched it twice before today. So thank you for all doing that for us. Um, my first question, though, is for Matt. Um, what was it about this story that you were like, I have to tell this? Um, it, it was uh, an article that Luke Mogelson wrote in the New Yorker that just a few sentences in, I know that that sounds like exaggeration, but it's not, uh, had its hooks in me, um, in, in, my, in my heart and in my head. Because I, again, having, it, it, it's, it's, I'm ashamed to admit that I didn't know about this SWAT team. Um, uh, I didn't, uh, despite the fact that we have been at some state of war with Iraq, the United States has since I was in high school, um, and now I'm in my 40s. Um, and I, I, was, I was struck by the notion that if, if I didn't know this, then there's probably many people like me in this country that don't know this. So can I tell a story that people from that part of the world, and maybe only people from that part of the world really know, and can I expose a broader audience to it and have the same effect on that audience that that article had on me? So that was really the, the, the driver behind it and the, the opportunity to show that there's so much more that we have in common than we have divisions. And the things we have in common are not only more numerous, they're more meaningful. Um, and I felt like that SWAT team, SWAT team, what they were fighting for just typified that. They want the same things we all want. They want their family, they want safety, they want to have, uh, be, be proud of their home. Um, and I, I kept going back to this idea that I, I hope I would have half that courage if I ever found myself in that same position. If I ever, um, if those are the very same things I think I would be fighting for myself. So it was that, it was the recognition of this shared humanity that uh, I, I, was, I was desperate to try and bring to a broader audience, if that made any sense. Oh, absolutely. No, I perfectly answered the question. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's um, just such an intense story. Um, wanting to go, I guess, in a little bit of a lighter direction here. Um, my question is for Z Suhail. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. I really oh, am. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Um, your your character has this neat little character trait where he has to pick up the uh, garbage and the trash wherever he is. Was that something that was originally in the script or something that you came up with? Oh yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Um, uh, Matthew he written it uh, like that, and uh, when I I read the script, uh, it was really really great to see like that because. Uh, when you read that character like that, uh, between the lines, there's something. This this gentleman, he's a he's a different than the other, like the fighter people. He's very very strict with his uh, guys. He's very humble, and he's very clean. He 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 want to clean. He want to clean his city, his his town, his uh, his street from everybody. Any anything is bad. <laughs> the, the, yeah, and that's why. In the middle of the in the middle of the war, and uh, there's a lot of uh, die body, and he he pick up the trash. It, it, uh, it's like there, there's no need to litter, even though you're in this sort of situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I loved I, it. <laughs> I, I loved it too. I loved it too. It, it's hard to work like that, but uh, we. I think we did it. Right, Matthew? <laughs> I think we did it. My question is for Adam. Your character kind of goes through this transformation of, an, uh, and I won't give anything away, obviously, but being this almost fresh 
faced, uh, fresh faced individual to really just being in the middle of the action. How did you get in tuned with your character to deliver this? Um, in tuned, I mean, uh, <clears throat> it was step by step, but I remember this, um, this thing Matt, Matthew told me, he was said, um, he he was talk he was talking to me a, a little bit in the in the beginning Stalin you know when in the beginning of his life when he was eighteen and he told me the story of Stalin and I remember this was uh, I was like I, was like, I, w I went back into my room and and this story stayed in my head I'm not gonna tell you what it is do you read it <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but anyway it was it was a, a such a profound story and to connect with this yeah it's just use, um, it was hard work every day, all day long. I mean, for the dialect, Suhail and Sam and Dr. Abbas, uh, I, I don't count the hours. And for the emotion, you know, it was just try to get into the scene. And, and, and Matthew, was like a, Matthew was like, it was like a musical part, you know, with the, the, the shooting and everything. And it was like more, less, more emotion, less, plus, plus. And we just try to, to connect all together and, and to connect with the character, you know, but it was try to be as truthful as possible, try to, to, to go as deep as possible. And uh, so for the people to, to feel the emotion, the character we're in, you know? I think you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Suhail, uh, my last question is for you. You are also involved in the upcoming movie Cherry, also done by the Russos. So, I mean, what would you say is, uh, say, the differences between your character in Mosul as opposed to your character in Cherry? Oh, oh that's a lot of different, you know. As a, as a, this is the first time I did, like, this character in the... In, in my life, I, but I love it. It was really short, uh, but I love it. I love it. And I love to work with them too. They're very good people, very nice. So no, no cleaning up uh, trash in cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. No, it's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you everyone so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Stay Thank safe. You so much. Thank you too. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>